Hi, today I thought I'd show you a technique using my jelly plate uh, printing system to create a print like this, which if you take a close look at it, it has several layers. Uh, this would be great in an art journal or as a piece of art framed or as a card or a background for a scrapbook page. So I'm going to show you how I did it. And uh, this is not an original idea to me. I can't take credit for it. This comes from Barbara, who runs Clarity Stamp. You can do a search uh, for her uh, website, or her channel, actually, and her website on YouTube, Clarity Stamp. Um, and she does a lot of things with jelly plates, and they're excellent videos. And so I'm going to show you how to do this. Now, if you're not familiar with what a jelly plate is, it's basically a silicone uh, sheet, like jelly, that you put paint on and you do mono printing. Now each time you do a print you'll never get the same one twice. So the one that I just showed you, I am going to use the same colors, I am going to use the same stencils and the same process, but it's probably not going to look quite like this and you'll understand why if you've never seen this process before as we go through the video. There is some drawing time involved, it's not a lot, so I will stop the video and restart uh, during those time periods. So let's begin. What you're going to need for this, I'm using four colors. The colors are up to you. I'm going to use uh, blue, and this is just uh, basics acrylic paint. That's all you use. Any kind of acrylic paint will work. Um, this is primary blue, and I'm also going to use uh, in the basics, it's just a smaller tube, same, same paint, burnt umber, and then I'm going to have a layer of, what's this called, light blue, permanent it's called again it's all part of the basics line of liquitex and the last layer is going to be uh, titanium white okay so first thing we need to do is put down a layer of my first blue color as I said before you can put any use any color combination you like you also want to have a uh, briar uh, as well or brayer I never get that word right anyways brayer you need a brayer, okay, as well. Well, you don't really need it. You can use your hands with this, too, but this makes life a little easier. And make sure you have a piece of scrap paper to roll color off the brayer and onto. And actually, as time goes by, and you'll see me using uh, copy paper to blot things, don't throw this away when you're done. This makes great uh, additional pieces that you can cut up and use in mosaic tiles or use um, on a card or use in your art journal. So... We just squeeze out a little bit of paint in the center here of our jelly plate, and I'm using the 8x10. They come in various sizes, and you can go to their website, uh, Jelly Arts, I believe it's called, and you can find them all there. And then you're going to spread it out with your brayer. And you don't need a lot of paint. You just want a very sm uh, smooth overall coat. And if you've got too much paint on here, which I do, it's very easy. You just go over to your scrap piece of copy paper or card stock and just roll it off from the brayer. And then just do that and keep doing it until you've got as much as you need. It's hit and miss. You have to figure it out as you go along. Um, but that's the beauty of it. Okay, I don't want a lot because this is going to be background. And my image is going to go sort of in the middle. So I just want it, I want a little lighter in the middle. Okay, now I'm just going to take a piece of copy paper. And I'm just going to blot up some of the paint more in the middle area. And I'm just rubbing it lightly with my fingers, leaving it around the edges sort of to create like a frame. Okay, that's not bad. Again, don't throw this away. You can use this. Okay, now this is where we have to let it dry. So I'm going to uh, stop the video and come back for the next layer. And it usually takes about mm, three or four minutes for this to dry, depending on how thick the paint is. Okay, so my blue layer is dry now, and you know it's dry when you touch it, and it doesn't feel tacky, and it doesn't come up. It's very important that it dries between layers, or this process won't work. Okay, so we've got the blue down. Now we're going to take some brown, and this is burnt umber, 
and we're going to just lay down a thin uh, amount of this all over our jelly plate. Again, using the bra brayer. Okay. Now, we're going to use a stencil in this one's case, and I'm using a one that's uh, got a repeated pattern on it. You could use any stencil you want, uh, depending on the effect you want to put on this. So I'm just going to lay it down, and then I'm going to take a piece of copy paper, and I'm actually going to use one that's already dry that I've been blotting things up on, and I'm just going to blot in the center area of this, and just lightly with my fingers. I'm only taking off a little bit of the paint. I don't want to take off too much. Okay, you can see that's how much I took off. And then I'm going to take this and I'm going to lift my stencil off. And so you can see a bit of, a, of the pattern is come through. So I don't know if it's easy. It might be easier if I put a piece of white paper underneath this. There, that's a little better. So you can see that pattern that's there. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to let this dry too. This won't take very long, a couple of minutes. Okay, I think I'm dry now on this layer. I'm just going to touch it with my finger and see if anything comes off. And, yep, seems like it's pretty much dry. So now I'm going to take my other shade of blue. This is light blue permanent, it's called. And I'm going to put a layer of this down. I think I need a little bit more than that. At the end of this, too, pretty much. Okay, so we'll spread this out. Okay, now we're going to take a different stencil, and I'm going to use one that's got a, a leafy pattern to it, and we're going to lay it down right there, and then we're going to take some punchinella, stuff that sequins comes out of, and you could use any kind of pattern for this, or you can just leave it, you don't have to do this, and I need some copy paper, again I'm just going to use some of the stuff that I've been uh, wiping the paint off on and I'm just going to lay this down in open areas and I'm very lightly going to just take a little bit of the paint off in certain areas maybe a little bit over here So I'm just doing it kind of randomly. I don't want to take too much paint off. Okay. Let me see. Got a little bit of that texture on here. Again, don't throw these away. These will come in handy for other project projects. Okay. Now I just want to make sure my leaves are in here. I'm just giving them a light rub into the paint. And then this time I'm going to leave the stencil on here as this paint dries. And what's going to happen is underneath where the parts that the stencil is touching, that's going to stay wet. The rest of it is going to dry. So again, we're going to leave this for a couple of minutes and then we'll be back. Okay, so now the background is dry. We're going to pull our stencil off carefully. And you can see it's left some patterning in here and what we want to do is just very lightly 
um, pick up a little bit of that paint that's still wet on those leaves. So just tap it. And again, I'm just using a piece that I've already been using for blotting. Yep, I didn't get much off of that, so that's okay. If you rub it a little harder in certain spots, you might get more off. It's really up to you how much you want to take off. I'm not really getting all that much off each one of these leaves, so you see I got a little hole there, but that's okay. Ooh, maybe too much there. Okay, I'm going to leave that. So again, you want this to dry, okay, and it is pretty much dry now. The reason you want to make sure it is absolutely dry is because we're going to put one more layer of paint on this. We're going to use the titanium white. You can use, again, any color you like. But that titanium white is, once it's applied on this, is going to kind of reactivate this paint that's already here. So you don't want it to be um, wet because it's just going to mush together. Okay. I think we are dry enough. Yeah. So I'm going to take my titanium white. Now, this is where you want to make sure you've got your... Uh, cardstock that you're going to be printing on ready to go. So let me grab a sheet here because this all dries very, very fast. So I'm just putting that off to the side and I'm going to squirt on. And again, I'm not using a lot. I may have used too much there, but you can take it off. It's easy to take it off. So spread this evenly and you want to be relatively about this because this layers layer we do not want to dry thoroughly and I'm just going to take a little bit more of this off okay that looks pretty good so now I can lay my paper down if I want right on top of it and smooth it over. But I have my jelly plate on this neat little acrylic pad, which also came from Clarity Stamp. They make them. They're in England, by the way. And so it works like a, a giant stamp. So now it's sticking to that. And now I can just line it up, sort of center it on this piece of paper. It's actually cardstock. And then just press it down. Now I can turn it over and I use my hands and I can smooth it out or if you've got a clean uh, brayer, you can use your brayer. And you want to give it a fair amount of pressure because you're making the print now. So you want to pick up all that paint. Sorry about that interruption. I kind of knocked my mouse onto the floor and it stopped my video. But you didn't miss anything. I'm still rubbing it. And now, I'm just going to give it one last rub around the edges. And now we do the big reveal. And like I said, this is what we got before. This is going to be a little different. And this is majorly different. Okay, I did not get the detail that I got in the first one. I may have not used enough paint. However, I'm not over with this. This is still usable. Okay, so I've still got some paint left on here. I'm going to see, this is a complete experiment. I'm going to put a little bit of blue onto this and see if I can lift off the rest of this that's here. And I'm going to do it on that same one that I just pulled. You can sometimes get two prints. The second print from a jelly plate is usually referred to as the ghost layer because it's not as clear. But they're kind of fun to do too because you can use them for other things. So I'm going to just take this and put it right down in here. 
And no matter what this turns out to be, it, it, it's still going to be usable. I can use cut it up. I can use parts of it. It's not a waste. Oops. Moving right off the screen here. So let's see what we got this time. Wow. Now, that is pretty cool. Okay. So you see, I did the first pull. It didn't come out as nice as this one did. But then I laid down some more color. I pulled it again. And I got this effect. And totally different from the other one. But nevertheless, very usable in an art journal. So, last thing. How to clean up your jelly plate. Okay. Well, you know I was talking about a ghost print. Let's see what we get. You don't have to waste anything. I'm giving us a fair amount of pressure because that paint that's on there is pretty dry. So I don't know what I'm going to get here. Didn't get too much of anything. But I still got to hold this on here. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to see if, what I can do. I'm just going to add a little bit more. This, this jelly plate stuff is addictive. I can tell you that. that same one because I only got a little bit around the edges whoa that's kind of nifty too so you could use that as a background for something, or again, cut it up. I'm kind of liking that. Okay, so I think I've got enough off of this. I don't think I'm going to get any more of this off. So the way to clean it up, grab a baby wipe, and you can just wipe it all off. Simple as that. If it's kind of stubborn, it doesn't really come off, just spritz it with a little water. And it'll clean right up. So, that's jelly printing. And they're a lot of fun. And as I said, they come in a lot of different sizes. Um, and they come in different shapes. Uh, they come in rounds, in different sizes of round. And they just came out with a whole set that are mini shapes which are fun too. You can use them like a stamp. And again, if you go to the Jelly Plate website, you will see, or on their channel, you will see their many, many YouTube videos about how to use their product. And once you've got one, you're going to wonder how you lived without one. Okay. So thanks for watching. Bye-bye.